Hey, how are you? I'm good. What's, what's I've got, what's I've got one of your cars here, mate. You know, but, but, but this is just, this is a rubbish they bring me the fix, right? Not going to make miracles. One but of my favourite. I need you to get me a band aid, Subaru. man. <laughs> you know that? Why is that? Why? It's got a, it's got a little scratch here. Look, <laughs> a little scratch. Oh God. Yeah, you like that one? Now this guy bought a car. All right, from um, auction. And it says um, there's no keys available, right? So what they've done, they forgot rid of the keys, so they can't start it up. Do you know what I mean? And then yep. this guy paid premium, thinking, oh, I don't need to see the keys. But it needs more than that. So it's costing just as much as what you could buy one of these cars, a Subaru WRX from the, from the a car yard, than buying it from the auction. So beware when you buy cars. If you can't hear it, do not buy it. And he's up for a motor, but it's catastrophic failure. So I'm going to make this work somehow. I'm going to put a bit of sticky tape on it. It should be right. Yeah? <laughs> that goes in the bin anyway. <laughs> but today what I've got, we're going to do a diagnosis here. We've got this guy's um, four litre Falcon engine. Very common in Australia. He, you should really throw the whole car in the bin, but it's sentimental value because it was his father's car. So... But, as you can see here, Sam, you see this? We've got a bit of uh, spilt coffee. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tear this down, and we're going to see if we can diagnose this to see why it's got water in the oil. So I'll start with this. So we have got to pull the rock cover off, obviously. I reckon it's a... What do you think is wrong with it? What do you reckon? Uh, head gasket fail? Egg, yeah, possibly. It could be a cracked head. Could be a cracked yeah, that head. Too. So that's a possibility too. Um, this is going to be ball pool. We're going to reco with it, we're going to recondition everything. So we're going to. Uh, hello to the boys in New Zealand, too, huh? I do get your messages, I do read them. And that's, uh, at the moment, I haven't had a chance to put some videos down for you. I'll be doing that in the next few weeks. Just been a little bit busy. So, what have you been up to, Sam? Oh, not much. Just cruising around in the VL. Yeah, you enjoying the turbo? I am. How good is that, huh? <laughs> Goes all right. You know what I'm doing as well? A 1FZFE, turbocharging 1FZFE for a, a four-wheel drive. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. That, that's, um, oh, you could make a cake out of that, wouldn't you? How good is that? <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> This actually drove. He actually drove this, you know that? The bolt. So what I've done, I've got this on. Always, always check. I know how the cam plumbing goes on these anyway. It's not like I've never done it before. But I've taken the cap off and sort of scratched it there. On top that said firing. So I know this is firing this cylinder because the lobes are facing down and that's rocking in the back. It makes life easier when you do it like this, you know Sam? Otherwise, you're going to sit there pull your hair out later. So these go in the bin. They're a one-way trip. You're not going to use these again. That was what was wrong with these originally when they came out from the factory. The bolts were breaking the heads off. I was snappy. This is... This is a hint. See that? That's giving us a hint. With a gasket, it's going to be leaking, I reckon. Or okay. Got the red. Yeah. Next step, I'm going to remove this. Come on. Pop. This comes up. And out. I'll place it there. Filthy, filthy, naughty boys. What do you think it is? Head gasket, gasket for sure. A lot of water. These crack on top too. So it could be cracked as well. There's a lot of water in that. Let's find out. Is it? Right here. Here we go. There's a the head gasket. Do we see? Just gone to shit. Yeah. Right, right there. 
See the color? So see where the gasket's blown? Yep. And there? See the color of the cylinder compared to the other ones? Yeah. Have a look at this on the front too. It's a double whammy. There's another one right there. See how bad that is? On the gasket. That's the front of it. Look at that. This remember I was talking remember I showed you in one of the videos about the graphite gaskets? The V8. The V8 the remember? one, yeah. You see how see what I mean? That's the water. This is the felt pro. The water chews it away. So what's that, that's what's happened there. This is not very old. It's been replaced. And the one here. See that see the the water sort of attacks the, the graphite and chews it away? Look at that. That's what's happened. Okay, there's another one there. How yeah, good's that? So we know. <laughs> see the colour of the piston? <laughs> so what we're going to check here, because we had water in that, we're going to check. So we've got it on top of this center, so we know the piston's flat, so we haven't bent the conrod. So that's one plus for this guy. Less expense, you know. But in reality, this guy could have put the cylinder head back on again. And nothing would have went. Clean the block up and it actually would have been fine. But we're going to rebuild it anyway, so I might as well pull the rest of it down and see what else it needs. So we found out what's going on with that. Okay, here we go. Oh god, there it is. How cool is this, huh? Let me put that down there. They can do two things for me. You can pick up the rest of the oil. Look at this. It's, a, it's an old school gasket, isn't it? Come on, Uncle Mick. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That was a rail. That belonged here originally. Yeah, so obviously landed up in the sump, it broke off. Look at that, bits and pieces in there. Oh. You, know, you know what? They actually, they actually dry fine. They actually, they're looking now. Isn't that sickening, eh? We've got our motor. That's how strong the, these, oh. these cars were. Oh. Get the pistons out. Look at that. Not bad. Still that, lubricating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah very good. <laughs> very good. I'm going to show you something, one of the worst plugs in this too, what they've oh, done. Yeah. I'll see, I'm going to see what your comment is, I'll flip it over, what you think, was it okay what he did, this guy? But I'll tell you what I think. Next step, main cap. <coughs> in the back. She put it the same on nuclear reactor. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at this. You ready? Yeah. This is, <laughs> is my pre-wash. So what I do out of it and I load it up now just with all the you get most of the stuff off it. So I put it in. There a lot of people have got these in workshops haven't they? Yeah pretty common. Uh, well, like <laughs> transmission places have I know that. <laughs> Look at that, Look at that rubbish man these how disgusting is it? 
dirtied your trolley. Oh, out. I'm stuck, boy. <laughs> Good. I was talking about the counterweight side. Yeah, Good boy. Now, this is the thing I was going to show you. What would you do in this case? This guy here. You want to flip it over? Dirty, dirty. Alright, what do you see here, Sam? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that a good idea or a bad idea? He did. What would you do? What do you think? It doesn't look like a great idea, does it? It's a fantastic idea. <laughs> do you know why? Why to, is that? To get, it, to get it back on the road again, that'll take you, that'll cost you like $500 to replace that $1.80 plug. You're going to pull half, you're going to pull the manifold off. Have you ever seen a manifold on one of these, what's, how they are? No. It is a disgusting, vomiting job to do. So a bit of silicon, I want to put something else in. I want to put like, one flick or something, but it's a good idea what he's done there, you know? I would have done the same to get myself out of, out of trouble, you know? So, yeah, so it's saved him. That probably would have lasted up for a very long time, you know? It'll be hard to get out, do a couple of hooks on to it, isn't it? But look, it's out. Probably a little pinhole there. Yeah. But that's um that's what I, that's pretty smart what he did there. I've seen people put self tappers in it. Really? But the, you can put I'll say you're stuck in Adelaide. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Yeah, well on the what side you, of on the side do? of the road. Yeah. On the side of the road, so I've gotta oh we've gotta go back home again, we've got a pull plug. These ones I don't touch. What is that? Because they nothing, it's only four gallons there, nothing there. Yep. Uh, this is it. So this is our dismantling, roughly. Sam? What are you going to do now? I'm going to wash it. Yeah, we're going to wash it. You've got to go, don't you? I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so enjoy your afternoon, mate. I will. Beautiful day today too, huh? Nice and sunny. Peaceful. Take it easy. <laughs> See you next time. Will do. <laughs>